Good day everyone and welcome to my fourth commentary for Magic Assault 1 VX PvP. In this particular fight I have a, a bunch of Zerglings that are attacking the late Miss Keep and most of the following clip is going to be me attacking those uh, that Zerg and them chasing me around so that I can 1vx them in smaller uh, parts. At the end of the fight however there is a nice um, 1vx with about 5 or 6 people involved. Overall this clip will turn out to be about 10 minutes long and it's going to be 22 kills. Now I skipped over the first two kills um, due to there's not much interesting to say about them but after this now I'm gonna start uh, playing the clip and I will tell you what I do and what I think when I'm doing it. So now you see the Zerg attacking here, I'm just going to attack the Sieges in the back. Um, just setting up a combo here. Elemental Drain is actually better cast before, however it does make sure that more of the damage is going to hit at once if you cast it after. Still, I do not recommend doing it, it's just a bad habit that I have. You instantly see a bunch of circlings jumping on top of me. I switch to a tripod because I ran out of stamina and use that to get my resources back up. I cut it out um, of, of range of the rest. I killed the sniper here with a streak. He only just went into cloak, so it's very easy to um, finish him off with that. They've placed a camp here, and somebody is just standing here AFK or in the loading screen or in his inventory, so that's also an easy kill for me. Now there is two guys left in this camp, and I'm going to try and get those two as well. I ignored this DK's attack with just some roll dodges and streak. Um, keep in mind that this can do as much as shield spamming, so it's definitely not to be underestimated. And buff up this Stampler, however I see somebody resing in the back of the camp, so I'm gonna go and streak through that to uh, stop the res. Now there's three people here, and more people are coming in the back, so I'm gonna have to kite it out again. I use the camp to LOS them a little bit. It's not a very like good LOS, not like a rock or anything, but it does make attacks a bit weird when you go through them. Same with sieges, so I want to use that to my advantage. Um, I use my um, streaking to just uh, avoid the damage of everybody and then burst somebody down really quickly, this crazy player. I tried to go for the Nightblade as well, but he escaped. Um, and now this tank also got the rest of, unfortunately. Now there's too many people to really uh, still keep standing on there. I will just uh, like run out of resources in no time. So I'm just gonna go behind the uh, tree to spread them out a little bit and go back in. Cast the rest old, trying to burst somebody down. However, there is too many people, so I'm gonna play it safe and go behind my tree again to get some more magic, etc. back. I got further towards the barricade, hoping that they would chase me, however they do not. That means I've over it a little bit. This guy goes to rest here, so I'm just gonna cast that with uh, some streaks. Then I run behind the tree to get some magicka back. After all, uh, I am struggling a little bit of magicka, you will see that throughout this fight. Then I go for this guy, he looks pretty squishy, just spamming snipe as well. I take a lot of damage by this uh, combo with this shield star, so I'm gonna negate that with a rest ult. While I'm in the rest ult, I can also try to burst somebody down. However, I do not succeed in doing so, especially because my resources are way too low, so I'm not really gonna risk it. However, this guy is still very low on health, so I'm just gonna like peep out of uh, behind that tree with the streak, finish him off, and then go behind that tree again. However, now I do have to kite it further because my resources are still very, very low. I also have to let the rest happen. Luckily, the Zerglings chase me at this point because I've killed a few, so I will be able to have a nice small 1vx here. Still struggling on magic, I take a spell power potion to help with that a little bit. The reason I do not go with a tricep potion is because there's not that many people, so I won't need the extra bit of stamina sustain. This sorcerer here is looking pretty squishy, he's not really doing much more than casting a single shield over and over, so I know I can burst that down with the curse and the fragment, as you see right there. Now I saw the uh, other guy go behind the tree here, so I'm gonna focus him first, as he is the more squishy one of the two. This guy here is not necessarily like um, knowing what he's doing, but he is tanky, so I wanna save that for later. You see another guy that is pretty tanky uh, joins the fight, together with um, a squishier Nightblade. Now for target selection, I'm doing a bit of a bad job here because um, I am mostly going to focus in the following fight the other tanks. I take a attacking portion for the Nightblade, however I choose to keep uh, focusing a tank because he is on low health. However, he must be a vampire and maybe wearing Briar or something because he's taking very low damage and he also still has 10k health at that very low amount. Now he's also cast that DK ultimate that uh, basically deletes your damage. So that was a bit of a waste of time and resources on that fight. Somebody's also sieging me at this point, though it might also be just for the uh, DC group. Again, I tried to focus a player, but he is also very tanky, so not really good targeting there. Now I see this guy, I just like to attack him, and I notice how much damage he takes, so I know it's good to put a combo on him with Curse, Overload, and Fragment. Then I go for the guy with the lowest health, which is this one here. However, he is also a tanky one. Look how little damage he takes from uh, my elemental up in there at the end. So it's better to focus somebody else. 
I decide to just uh, go with this guy a little bit longer, however, you see that's another one of those DK ultimates, I think, at least your damage, so it's not really going to be much used. Now, there's also four people on me, but I see this guy here takes a lot of damage from a single element weapon, so I'm just going to follow that with a fragment, and he gets instantly killed. Now, the Nightblade is the next squishy target, so I definitely want to take a look, see if I can burst that. I missed the streak, however, not really sure how that happened. I did get the second one, but at this point, I'm out of resources, and I don't really want to risk taking too much damage. As you see, that's good too, because at this point I'm literally just casting the skills I still have resources left for. I'm struggling very much, so I just want to kite around this rock and tree until I get um, my portion up and maybe a rest world as well. There's a guy on low health there, but I'm not going to focus it just for a little bit until now I got my tripods up, my resources are back. I'm going to make use of the rest world to be able to tank their damage while I focus that one guy down. However, he ends up behind me and my fragment goes in front of me, so I am uh, hit the wrong guy with that and I missed out on the kill there. Which is a pity because it's a good setup for one. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to do the same tactic, I'm going to go around this tree and rock, get my resources back and then eventually I will push them again. This tree and this rock also has the benefit that they spread them out very much. That little streak right there is simply to stun all of them, the entire group, to get some control and to give, me some, give myself some time etc. I streak to this tree, all of them are chasing me except this one guy, so as I said, I spread him out a little bit so I can burst one guy down. Now it's just three guys left here. I'm gonna go for this guy, low health guy here because he seems to be the weakest. He tries to block the streak, but the streak is unblockable, so he just gets stunned and he dies. In the meantime, I block the meteor. Now there's only two guys left. Um, I'm out of Meshka again, so again, same tactic. I go for the tree a little bit, cast some dark conversions, and then I see that one guy trying to run away here. I think he's a squishy target, so I burst him down. However, it is not enough damage, it would be better to have caused some damage in him beforehand, because now there's three people on me and I didn't manage to get this guy down. However, he's not healing himself, so I'm able to finish him off with just a curse and uh, some elemental weapon. I'm completely out of resources though, so uh, yet again I'm gonna go back to my rock, cast some dark conversions and get him back up. This guy trying to rest, um, the other guy rest by the way, this, he seems very squishy though, so a simple elemental weapon into a dodge roll is going to do the rest of the damage and bring him down. Now for the two sorcerers here, I'm going to start with the magical sorcerer, as they are usually squishier. Um, I start with bursting him down, you see you see, it takes a lot of damage. Again, I just do some elemental, elemental weapons and um, fragments, but it's not enough. Now you see, you've probably seen out of that main gate, there was a big DC Zerg escaping, so I know they're going to chase me because I'm already getting attacked by a few guys. As you see, when I look around just to check, there's a whole bunch of people chasing me now. They kind of caught me as an unfortunate uh, moment because I'm low on resources. So I really have to choose well what I do with streaks and everything. You notice that I use almost every streak to get into an LOS with that little hill and now with the rock I'm streaking behind. It has the benefit that um, these rocks and hills are not uh, large enough to stop my streak, but they do get me to in the LOS instantly, and obviously I'm kiting them out. You see they are chasing me on top of this rock, I'm gonna try and hold my ground here for a little bit, because this rock is a very good one, like, and I know it was there, so I kited here intentionally, that's quite important too, that you like know what you where you're going when you kite out the enemy. So I went for this rock because I know there's a lot of opportunities for me to add west, get my resources back, etc. As you see, is what I'm doing right here, just to cast my buff and to spread the circlings out a little bit, I use this rock here. They're standing all on top of this rock, so at this point I'm just going to um, stall the fight, just assess what's going on and grab opportunities when I get them. This streak here has done many of them, just so more for uh, give myself time, etc. I go back with this streak because I know they are spread out a little bit, as you can see. They are getting more like dispersed among the rocks. I use the LOS to get more resources back and I'm gonna try and burst this guy on top of the rock. However, you can see he is getting healing, so I'm not gonna get that kill yet. Here I accidentally roll a uh, roll dodge off the rock, so I'm just gonna go back up. It doesn't really matter because they will wait for me up there. And that's if somebody jumps down, in that case it's also useful. At this point I have overload, I see this guy takes a lot of damage, so not even with curse, but just with overload element weapon and fragment, I burst them down. And that was just a bit like the opening I was looking for all this time. Just somebody uh, that takes a lot of damage from the ultimate or just random stuff and that can burst down. I see this guy here having the same issue, however they are trying to rest at this point and are very low on resources. So I choose to place it safe and I go back into my rock to um, get resources back, etc. Now the guy that was rest has very low health and very low resources of course, so I know he's very weak target. Some simple uh, damage abilities and a curse uh, gets the job done. Now the four people are still on top of here, 
I'm gonna try and tank that out a little bit because I have a good amount of resources and the rest don't. So I'm gonna streak back up this rock. You gotta know a bit how your streak works so that you can like streak on top of that rock. It doesn't stop at the start of it. I'm gonna get this bash by simply running around the um, rock. There was a bit of a tricky bash, but I did manage to pull it off. And I'm gonna keep trying to do that. Uh, here I streak through him to stop the um, resurrection, but he stopped it himself, so it doesn't really matter. I see this guy on low health, so I'm gonna try to pressure him. Now this guy, this tank right here, is going to start spamming the rest on them as well. So I'm gonna try and burst somebody down while standing in the middle of this group while like bash weaving in the middle of it with this guy here my target is standing he's not that um like uh resistant to damage but he is getting healing uh maybe from one of the other guys i don't know in the end though it stops and i can finish him down i streak back up to stop the rest here it doesn't really matter if he got the rest off though because i got that second kill and the guy if he would have gotten rest it would be again at low health and resources now there's only three guys left, however, two decays um, and one knife blade that is currently in the process of running away. The decays are not going to do much damage or won't be needing any more rest to ults or anything like that. He is still trying to rest, allowing me to just use the stun there from the interrupt to um, deal all the damage. Um, he uses that, uh, that damage reduction thing again, that ultimate I think, um, but it doesn't really matter because he has too low health. Now, um, I do keep my detection potion ready at this point because I know the light blitz will still be along, uh, around. There he is, so I'm gonna switch to the detection potion and I'm gonna um, finish all that decay. However, he's still taking very little damage, so I'm gonna focus on the light first because I noticed he's very squishy uh, from my overload light attacks. He is, however, roll dodging everything. As you can see, the only damage I'm really doing to him is curse so far. He goes behind this tree, and this point I know I've gotten because if I uh, then streak, to, uh, like, past this tree, I know the streak is going to damage and stun him. Which then also killed him. Now there's only this DK left, it's a very easy kill because he seems to be out of resources or something. And that is the end of this fight. 22 kills. Now, um, what is the most important part in this fight? Um, it's not really like the target uh, selection. You see I've done a couple of mistakes in that. But what you really want to... Um, like take take with you from this commentary is the usage of streak especially in that little kite there where it was very tricky because i was out of resources um every streak counts if you do one mistake you the zerg is probably going to catch up onto you also something you gotta keep in mind is where you streak to being that rock and also the usage of streak as a um, stun to control the group not just as part of a burst combo or to escape but also as just um, something to create space and time for you to get resources back to set up a combo or whatever in any case i hope you all enjoyed this um, commentary and yeah see you next time thank you for watching bye